Hello everyone, next, we're going to take a look at Restriction Fragment Length Polymorphism, RFLP, on paternity testing. What is RFLP? RFLP is a procedure for separation and identification of desired fragments of DNA. Restriction endonucleases, RE, will cut lengthy DNA into short strand called restriction fragments. The enzyme cleaves specific, 4 to 6 base pair of nucleotide sequences in a DNA strand. The distance between the restriction sites of RE differs between individual. Hence, the resulting fragments will be separated according to their lengths, and the pattern of fragment sizes will differ for each individual tested. RFLP is also used in the determination of paternity or for tracing ancestry. Gel electrophoresis is used to separate the DNA fragments and the pattern formed will be particularly unique because there is more variability in the genes examined. For a better understanding, here is the story of a lovely couple. They have two beautiful daughters named Maria and Sarah, and a handsome son named Adam. After the couple died due to a car crash, the children have been informed that one of them is adopted. Now, let us find out who is the adopted child is. So DNA samples were taken from each one of them and gel electrophoresis was performed. As a result, you can see that series of bands are migrating from individual lanes, and each child possesses their own unique of DNA bands. First, let us color code the band from mother and father as pink and blue respectively. As we know, the children will possess half of the DNA from the mother and the other half from their father. So, can you guess who is the adopted child is? Let's find out. Now you will notice that Maria and Adam both have half DNA from both their parents. Meanwhile, Sarah got two green coated bands that are neither match the bands from the mother nor the father. Thus, the adopted child in the family is Sarah. There are many uses of RFLP besides for paternity testing. One of them is DNA fingerprinting which is to identify suspects based on evidence samples collected at the crime scene. Besides that, RFLP also applied in studying the breeding patterns in animal populations and diagnosis of certain diseases. Unfortunately, the RFLP analysis technique is tedious and slow. It requires a large amount of DNA sample and the process, from probe labeling to washing and autoradiography, can take up to a full month to complete. 